All right, just got a package in from Up Garage. It's the Apexy intakes for the GTR. Got both of them, of course. Another one packaged down there. Let's go ahead and put this on. Let's go ahead and take off this stock intake box and then throw the Apexies on. All right, finished up the install there. Got one more thing to do. Just need to go make some holes real quick. All right, there it is. We've got the finishing touch, the Nismo duct there. It's actually meant for an R30. I think it really finishes it off nice. Super clean look and definitely get that cold air right into the intakes. So nice piece, works well with the stroke bar. All right, so we're headed to the shop. We have the HKS turbo dumps. We have the new GK Tech fan with shroud adapter and the Gretti radiator. We have brand new Garrett GT2860R 5s with the Treadstone oil kit. We got new Nissan parts to fix the power steering kit. We got the reseal kit. We have full GK Tech V4 suspension that's about to go on as well. so we're dropping off the skyline here at n factory in okinawa this is definitely the uh, gtr specialist here in okinawa so if you guys have one or you plan on coming to the island uh, this is definitely where you need to go to take your vehicle shout out to lucio for fucking installing all of this the wiring was kind of a pain in the ass All right, just finished up the install on the seat. It looks amazing. And then, of course, the Momo steering wheel, the Japan edition to match, the red. It just comes together really well. I've never owned a bucket seat, but uh, after I sat in this, absolutely the most comfortable seat I've ever sat in for sure. So, had to grab it. Uh, probably be grabbing the passenger to match as well. But it just looks amazing. Let's take a front view. So it's a few days later, change of plans. We still have the brakes, bunch of other parts. Got the radiator, got the boys here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and install most of the parts now um, and just basically do it ourselves. So <laughs> a little bit more work, but it's all good. Let's go ahead and get started. I bet, I'm bringing the temps down on the freezing point. That's not even an upgrade option. All right, so we finished draining the fluid out. Patrick just hooked up the adapter uh, for the fan. And we're gonna go ahead and take off the old fan. Uh, let's see, yeah, you can see there's a couple of it focuses. It has a couple cracks there. Um, so again, you know, it's an old 25 year old car. So a lot of these vehicles require maintenance, so. Go ahead and swap this out. All right, got the new fan in. Good to go. Mocking up the shroud. Oof, looks so good. Looks so good. All right, got the new fan on. Radiator. Getting all the air out. Fan looks good. There's no wobble or anything like that, so happy with it. All right, so we finally got this project underway. All GK Tech uh, V4 suspension, and then we got the brakes over there we're about to throw on. But as you can see, OEM, 
to the new GK Tech. Tons of adjustment capabilities with this. Um, we got front and rear, of course, so definitely should be a lot better. Um, can't wait to actually drive it and see how it's going to be. I got the Dixel performance brakes. Uh, these are the SD type for the 33 GTR. And then we have Dixel street pads as well. The, I guess, ROHS, not sure, obviously this is in Japanese, so, but I guess the Type M brake pads. This is what the, brake, uh, the rotors look like, slotted. Definitely can't wait to get those on and replaced. Uh, these have obviously never been uh, replaced before. So, all right, so I didn't video a lot of it today just because, as you can see, it's already nighttime, so took us a while to kind of get everything uh, dialed in. Obviously we did a uh, oil change as well, but we got the brakes done. Yeah, the brakes glow in the dark, it's pretty cool. And I just stepped on my titanium lug nuts, sweet. Um, but yeah, brakes are done. We got the camber kit, tie rod, obviously the blitz coilovers were already on but it looks really good. Thank you to all the homies for helping out. I love it. Um, shit, I can't see anything from this angle. So we got the fronts done as well. All new suspension arms, camber, looks good it looks good now it's time to go break them in all right you can see the new suspension now new brakes got the new pads in there new camber arms and of course still have the blitz coilovers in there so that's just the new front setup so as far as the rears you got the camber tail arms there and of course the Blitz coilovers, got the brakes, pads. So it's a good little setup for sure. I uh, just need to go get an alignment. All right, time has arrived. We're gonna get the mines front pipe in, the new Garrett turbos, and the HKS uh, dump pipes. So the turbo system is finally gonna go in. We're gonna go drop it off at uh, the shop now. I just picked up his Supra, got the clutch, reseal on the motor. Nori, the GTR specialist here, Okinawa, builds all these engines. So I was gonna take my GTR to Osan, Korea, but instead I'm gonna leave it here with Nori. He's gonna uh, build up the motor, complete reseal, pistons, uh, fuel pump, Haltech, literally everything, uh, injectors, so he's gonna be building it here. So we're going over the build and the HKS pistons came in. Oh, yes. Wow. So the weight difference from the forged pistons, the HKS uh, to non-forged is very big difference. Very big difference. Very big difference. Wow. Yeah, Tome cams. Tome pond cams. So we got the ORC clutch. Is that the super single? No. Oh, wow. This is a twin plate. Twin plate. Wow. Going over the build. ORC twin plate. HKS pistons. Tome pond cams. 450 fuel pump, Huge. 1000 cc HKS injectors. <laughs> wow, so this is Tomei Japan pond cams, 260. Uh, Nori sounds saying that Tomei Japan and Tomei USA are completely different. So we got the Japan Tomei cams. All right, 
leaving Nori's shop. Man, I'm gonna miss this view. I'm gonna miss this island, miss Japan. But we're off to uh, some other other experiences. I'm gonna miss the homies. Man. Alright guys, we are at the last Cars and Coffee I'm going to be at in Japan. I'm flying out today, going back to the States, uh, headed to Korea next uh, for a year. So that's where I'll be, the old Civic. Man, that thing's so freaking clean. We've got the GTR over there. Obviously it's staying to get built and then it's going to get shipped back to the States. But just wanted to film my last time here in Japan. Well, living anyways, maybe I'll come back, who knows. But. It's been an awesome ride. Thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, we'll have more content over in Korea, and then obviously we'll have the GTR back in the States, and that's going to be wild, so stay tuned.